Looking for leads? This video might just be exactly what you're looking for. I'm going to build this tool using NADN, which will scrape Google for LinkedIn profiles with URL, with their name. We'll use our API for scraping Google and document all of that into Google Sheets so that we can use this for outbound messaging and connect with people. So let's get this going. I will begin by getting a manual trigger just for now. Now to scrape Google, we will use SERP API. You cannot just go into Google and uh, scrape it anymore. Uh, you need to use uh, these kinds of uh, services. So uh, for SERP API, just register. You can use a free tier, which has 100 searches per month, uh, with which you can just test it out. Click register, register with your account. And after registering, you will get your API key, which you will be able to use in the workflow. Now, next, let's get an HTTP request. This will be our SERP API request. We will use a get method because we will get information back to NADN. The URL to be used will be HTTPS uh, serpapicom slash search.json. Now we will need to set up a few parameters. So click send query parameters. And the first one will be, the name will be Q. Now for now, I will just leave it as static information. Another parameter will be HL and it will be N. The third one will be GL and the value will be US. And the last one will be API key and just input your API key out here. Okay, we are done with our parameters. Uh, the only thing that we need is to specify the response type and I would like to get back the JSON. We can run this. And we get all of this information back, which is amazing because we can see that we get organic results and 10 of them actually. Uh, they start from zero, but you can see that we get Paul Kohlberg, a CEO president of your construction corp and the link to his uh, profile. We also get uh, how many followers does he have so that we can you know, see uh, whomever is uh, uh, gaining traction. And we get a snippet, which is sort of a description. We can use all of this going forwards. Now, next, we need to format the results because what we got is uh, one item uh, full of um, information. And we get a list of information that I would like to take out and take just specific fields out of it and make it into uh, 10 items that I can then put into my Google Sheet. So for that, we will need to use the code node and let's use this code. Now, if you want to use this code, you can make a screenshot of it and put it into ChatGPT and ask it to transcribe it. Okay, let's try this out. That's the step and we successfully get 10 items. First of which is Bob Goldberg. I get his profile URL, description and the follower account. I already prepared prospects Google Sheet with name, profile URL, follower account, and description. And if I was to just append the row, uh, it would append uh, all of it into one row, which is not exactly what we want, right? So we need to use a looping func function. And the batch size will be one. So we will go one by one through the code node output. So the previous nodes output, these 10 items and we will do something with it, right? And that something will be, we will replace this with Google Sheets. And I will append the row in the sheets. Please add credentials. There are some videos in this channel on how to add credentials to Google. Sheet within a document, append the row, which is exactly what we want. And the document will be the prospects. Sheet will be, I just have one sheet and it finds me all of those columns, which is perfect. Uh, I will click execute previous notes because that will give me the fields that I need. So I just need to transfer the correct ones to the correct places. Oh, sorry. Description didn't, didn't need to go here. 
description goes into description and followers go into follower account. As you can see, I have no items right now. If I click everything right now, we can see that it goes out here and it's starting to loop. You see that it's one item, two items, three items, four items, and it will go through each one of them and it will add each one of them into Google Sheets. We can even see it live as it being done. So since we can see that it's working, I will replace the when clicking uh, test workflow with a form. On form submission, form title is search LinkedIn, search LinkedIn profiles. First field name will be job title, elements text. Another element will be company, industry. And the third one will be location. All three of them text-based. We can test this form. And we have job title, company, industry, and location, and the submit button. Let's connect them together. And I will put something in CEO of logistics uh, from Los Angeles. Submit. I get job title, company, industry, and location. And now I have uh, three different fields which I can use to replace the static uh, expressions that I wrote before. So let's do that. Job title goes out here. Instead of CEO, company industry goes out here. And location goes out here instead of New York. Okay, let's test this out. I will look for CEOs and, and warehousing from Denver. Submit. It goes through, it will loop 10 times and I can go to prospects and I already see prospects information appearing. And that's it, you can improve upon this. You could have it so it triggers from, from a webhook, from your own site. You could have it so that it gives you not 10 items, but a hundred or more. Uh, you can plug this into any other workflow and use this to get information on LinkedIn profiles. So as you can see, the simple tool can scrape LinkedIn using Google and get you a list of prospects that you can convert into leads. If you found this useful, please drop a like, comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe for more AI no-code tips.